Look, we're starving. We've got some money, but we can't use it without that mark. We can't buy, we can't sell, we're totally shut out of the system. Why not just pledge allegiance? Join One Nation Earth. It is a world of opportunity out there. I'm not a hater, but I know what happens to those who take that mark. Unfortunately, very soon, the Antichrist will be requiring everyone to receive a mark in his or her right hand or forehead. Because the Bible says that everyone who receives this mark will be eternally lost, I strongly advise you to decline. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image, and whoever receives the mark of his name. My dearest children, in my son's previous video, you were shown the Illuminati's presidential pentagram. You were shown that the beast has used the political system of the world's most powerful nation, as his bully pulpit, against the children of God. You were also shown that the beast has used a slow methodical process over time, to unravel his cold-blooded reptilian plans to affix the mark of the beast to my children. Can't you see him salivating yet, children? Can't you see the beast jumping up and down, for joy? thinking he has overcome the children of God. Nothing could be further from the truth, children. He hasn't won anything, and the mark of the beast has not yet been affixed to my precious children yet. Not in the large scale that he has planned. The purpose of this message is to teach the children of God, how to overcome the beast, with his long five presidential bids to destroy the children of God and to also show the children of God, the last Christ-centered man, who has held a presidential post within the United States government. Please take the contents of this message to prayer, children. Take everything to prayer, as it is written in my holy word. We are no longer a Christian nation. We are no longer a Christian nation. Every one of you out there that ever thought he was a holy man, knowing better, he is saying that a personal relationship with Jesus is dangerous. Jesús no espíritu. Jesús no es un espíritu. Jesús es una persona, es un homo. My children First of all, it is not too late to take measures to overcome the beast in his plans. It is true that the end of the church era is upon you, but the enemy wants all of my children be placed in a corner, and to not feel they have any other options. Nothing could be further from the truth, children. The children of God always have options, because all things are possible with God. I am a God with no bounds. I have no limits. I am your eternal father too. Allow me to give you the keys to overcoming the beast, and his end times plan against my children. I also recommend that my children, download this video upon their computers, in case this message is removed from the internet in the days ahead. The main objective of the beast is to affix the mark of the beast, his stamp of approval, upon the children of God. Receiving this mark is a complete and utter blasphemy to my name, children. You are in essence, swearing allegiance to the beast, and you will be eternally damned. You will not be allowed to enter the gates of my heavenlies, if you receive this mark. I want to give you some guidelines before I go on with this message. Dear children, if you are thirsty, and need a drink of water, do not take the mark. If you are hungry, and you need something to eat, do not take the mark. If you are without shelter, and you cannot obtain it without the mark, do not seek shelter through the beast system. These are the basic provisions, that the beast wants you to cry out to him for, and you will very likely have to receive his mark, in order to receive these amenities. Allow me to review my holy scripture regarding taking the mark, and the ultimate outcome, dear children. 
Remember that my children die for lack of knowledge. My children, my holy word could not be any clearer on this issue. No matter what circumstance you are faced with, or your family is faced with, do not go to the FEMA camps, and receive their assistance, because once you are taken into their custody, their ultimate plan is to affix the mark upon you. Hear your Lord and Savior this day, my precious children. We are at the end of the church era, and the enemy is ruthless and plans to take your life if you do not take this mark. This time period will take place after the rapture of the bride of my son. Hear me, my precious children. This time is now upon you. This time is only days from now on your earthly calendars. Please bring this topic to me in your prayer closets, and allow me to speak to your hearts. The rapture of the bride is imminent, my children. Please be ready to overcome the beast, by being ready for my son's soon arrival. My son will come, and collect his holy children in order that they may escape all the plans of the beast upon your planet. He is a loving father too. And he longs to bring his holy children home. If you are living as a lukewarm child of mine, it is time to make a decision who you will serve now. Do you want to be left behind to endure the worst time period the earth has ever known, or do you want to escape the horrors of the Great Tribulation? Decide now children. The hour has crept up upon you. The Peace Accords public signing will be the first action that will cause a reaction from my heavenly throne. Once the Peace Accord is publicly signed, I will begin dividing the land of those who have participated in dividing my holy land in Israel. As you watch the news my children, you see that the hour is upon you. If you are not seeing that you are in the last days, children, please come before me on your knees and ask me to show you. I will find a way to open your spiritual eyes, and your spiritual ears. This is something that I do for my holy children that cry out to me and my son. Ask us to give you eyes to see, and ears to hear what the Spirit of the Living God has to say. You will be shown then. I love you all my precious children, and I want no one to be left behind. No one. In the second part of this message, I want to pay a tribute to my son, Dan Quayle, who truly was the last real son of mine serving in the highest office of the United States. He surely was. He was the shining beacon, that I sent to Washington, and the beast tried at every corner to discredit him. He did not overcome my son, Dan, my son went to Washington and served his Lord and Savior well. He shined as he lived an example around, and amidst his political colleagues. He always demonstrated his sincere love for his Lord, both in public and in private. He was genuine and had a heart to do what was right for the children of God living in the United States. I want all of my children to know how very proud I am of my son, Dan, at the end of time. I want to also send him a warm hello from my heavenlies. My son, Dan, you have served your Creator and his son so very well. I have many treasures for you stored up here in my heavenlies. Jehovah God.